for calling me here and uh, I am impressed with the kind of uh, emotional attachment I am seeing here. I arrived here last night. Since then all the students are taking very good care of me. The staff of guest house, everyone is, uh, uh, it feels as if I am in the family. And then uh, uh, I met uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Saab just a few minutes ago and the head of the department of electronics. All, all very spirited persons uh, I see and I am very happy to be here and I hope I will be giving some of my experiences with uh, the current research work that uh, I am doing with my students. That is what uh, I was asked to deliver. Uh, as it was told, I am in many things and therefore slightly defocused. Okay, I am trying to develop some teaching modules for schools, experiment best methodologies. I am trying to train <coughs> teachers. I am trying to do some uh, village based, rural population based uh, uh, social work. I am trying to do some research. I am trying to write books. So I am into so many things that uh, everything becomes defocused and not able to deliver in a, in a meaningful way. So I gave several options that you uh, tell me on what kind of thing you want me to talk to the students and they have chosen this technology based topic. Okay. So I don't know how useful it is, how meaningful it is, but still to be in a, an institution like IIT Kanpur, something has to be done to survive there in the locality. Uh, in, in, you are surrounded by very big uh, shots who are doing excellent technology based work. So to survive, one has to do some uh, little bit of it. So, uh, so this is the one which uh, uh, I have uh, finally it was selected that this will be the topic. Alright, so uh, I, I give you some uh, 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 these uh, uh, the things that we have done recently, but uh, my heart is not in this. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> during the interaction, you can ask many other things which had been told I am in. So I will be happy to answer those questions and discuss on those things also. Now, where is my title? The title I have given hit the film and it went towards you. So that is the what the uh, my student Nepal Singh Rajput. He is a PhD student in his fourth year. He has essentially done this particular work. And something like this. You, you see, it's a wooden box here. A model I got constructed at this institute itself for this lecture. And so this is the wooden block here. And uh, in this block, they have uh, a trench cut. All right. Inside you can see here it's a hollow. So it's a trench cut in this wooden box. And on that box is an aluminium plate. Right? You can see this aluminium plate. And on this aluminium plate, the, they have put further cuts. So that you have this uh, cantilever type of thing on this side and on this side. Right? So <laughs> this is that uh, film that I am talking of. Now if uh, I hit this film from top, right? suppose I uh, make some stones or some things fall on it. I also have these uh, steel balls, small steel balls. So if I make them fall on this, like this, okay, on this film, like this. So which direction this film will go? If I am hitting from the top, it will go into the trench. Right? It's going into the trench if I hit from from uh, from top. But the work I am going to present is opposite. I hit the film, and the film bends towards myself. Okay? So <laughs> that is the interesting thing. And why it is so? I'll I'll tell you. Look at this video. What you are seeing is this cantilever. Right? Made in a very similar pattern, I will describe in detail. And from top I am hitting. 
and see what it is it is doing. Yeah. Okay, it's bending in the direction from which it is being hit. Bending, bending. already bent by 90 degrees. I am hitting from the top by some ions. More than 90 degrees, then comes back. Okay, and then stands almost vertically. This is the final stable position. So what is the difference between this model and the one I am showing in the video? The difference is, the most prominent difference is that this is centimeter size, right, few centimeters, few tens of centimeters and that is uh, say few hundreds of nanometer size. Huh? Our this film is micron size, micron, micron size, not hundred nanometer, micron size. All right, and uh, it's being hit not by steel balls, but by individual gallium ions. So not by millimeter size balls. It is being hit by, uh, say, few angstrom individual ions. All right, so few angstrom size balls it is being hit. So that's the main difference between this model and and this and the. It's very different. So what happens when we go to this nano size and uh, how that technology, that manufacturing, that fabrication thing is very different once you try to do, do that uh, fabrication at this micron and uh, nm level, right? So that's the thing. So let's talk something about this uh, nano science and nano technology and then I'll come back to this so look at that left side uh, you have a can you see a dot there black dot it's a full stop right is a is a typed from the keyboard it's a full stop and in times new roman 14 font size 14 all right and that uh, will uh, have a size a diameter of about 500000 nanometer. So if I say it's 10 to the power minus 9 meter, it doesn't give me the feeling how much is that 10 to the power minus 9. So that is why all these gimmicks are, are done. You know, this full stop in 14 fonts will have 500,000 uh, nanometers in size. A drop of blood contains about 5 million red blood cells and each cell measures 2,000 to 4,000 nanometers and so on. And the height of this person can you recognize this person is a physics teacher? <laughs> oh, yes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so I am 1 Arab and 60 crore nanometer high. Alright, my height goes as 1 Arab and 60 crore nanometer high and 95 crore nanometer of periphery here. <laughs> That is uh, basically you can put in two uh, different sections, nano science and nanotechnology. I am essentially a person of science, so I do generally science, but sometimes technology also. Okay, so nano science and nanotechnology, and in this nanotechnology there are many many things. One thing is fabrication, nano fabrication, doing engineering. Okay, doing some kind of manufacturing at this uh, micron nano size. Alright, so let's talk a little bit on nano science. Huh? You know, science uh, is governed by small number of equations. Very small number. Right? You study some hundreds of them, but uh, at the root, there are very few. If you go for macro sizes, these are the whole electrodynamics is given. <coughs> in this equation, Maxwell's equation and the Lorentz force equation and plus Newton's law and gravity law, gravitation and this and that 
and uh, since we are anyway going to talk for small uh, uh, size particles, so quantum mechanics will be, so I have not written classical mechanics equation, I am writing this uh, uh, quantum mechanics equation. These uh, electrodynamics equations are more or less true for that uh, nano world also. All right. So you have this Schrodinger equation and some Pauli exclusion principle and so on and so on. So these are basic laws and will remain there. Whatever size you talk, whatever situation you talk, these, these are not going to change. The nano science cannot be different from macro science at this level. All right. Next. But then, from that basic laws, you have its manifestation. And then comes, for example, Ohm's law. Ohm's law as such is uh, not a basic law of physics. Right? The basic law will be from <coughs> electrodynamics, the Maxwell's equations. But then when these equations uh, operate, when these basic rules operate in a metallic material, then it turns out that the electric current uh, and the potential difference and the resistance, they are related by V equal to IR, right, for, for metallic uh, materials. And the application is all, all electrical appliances that you see. Similarly, uh, EMF is generated when conducting coil rotates in magnetic field. That comes from one of those Maxwell equations. But then, uh, from there, you have all this uh, electrical power generation and all that. Similarly, you semiconductor material, you have bands and band gaps and all those things. These are not the basic laws of physics, but these are the manifestations. If you have a material of this type, then all these things will occur. And from there, uh, your semiconductor technology and similarly, magnetism and so on. 